Hello, French horn players. Okay, so we are here today on page 18, A and regular page 18. So this is gonna be lines 47 and 48, and I'm gonna play both pages for you, so that way you can kind of have a difference. Okay, so I need to practice this one for band and this one for lessons with Miss Barfly. So you guys have a little bit of extra work, but it pays off in the end, I promise. Okay, we're starting with page 18, Plane 18, line 47. So this is the band page. And we're gonna do counting three. Now it's important to remember the key signature on this one. You have two flats, B flat and E flat, and it's also in the time signature of three, four. Now, you need to make sure that a dotted half note gets three counts. Dots are really cool because they take what half of whatever it's attached to and tack it on to the end. So You've got a half note, which is two counts. Half of, a two, half of two is one. So two plus one is three. That's how you get three counts for a dotted half note. Now, another example would be a whole note. So you take a whole note, which is normally four counts. Half of that is two. So when you put a dot on a whole note, you actually end up playing a, a note for six counts altogether. It's really cool, they're fun. Now, going back to line 47, you're gonna start out on low B flat and it's a great way to warm up, okay? Remember, we use our tongue to release the sound so we get that ta, ta, ta sound, okay? One, two, three. warm up like I said okay now that you've done the band page you're gonna flip over to page 18a and play line 47 as well so you just finished up E flat now you need to go a little bit higher for F okay this one does not have E flat it just has B flat in the key signature but you're just gonna finish going up that scale so if you were actually to play the beginning of 47 on 18 and finish with 47 on 18a you'll be playing a scale which is really cool all right, 47, 18A. One, two, three. <laughs> Now the challenge would be play the first page, 18, and go straight over to 18A. Just make it one continuous line, and you should be able to play from low B-flat to middle range B-flat. It's pretty cool, fun. Okay, going back to 18, line 48. This is tricky because of the B-flat and E-flats again, but also because you've got those slurs versus a tie. Now if you remember, a tie is adding two of the same note together so you're sticking it together you're tying them up so that we actually have to add them all up now a slur takes one note here and makes a do sound to the next note do so you're releasing the sound at the beginning ta ta okay play down in the valley with me please one two three <coughs> Oh. 
tricky going from the F to the A. If you listen closely, you could hear that I even struggled with it a little bit. So in order to fix that, to make sure that I'm not missing that next time, I'm actually going to start on F, play it a couple of times, and then I'm going to play A and just go back and forth between the two so that way I know, okay, yeah, that's exactly the way it's supposed to sound and that's exactly what I'm supposed to do right there. So F, A, Again. Now if you look closely at my embouchure right here, you can actually see when I'm playing the F, I'm kind of firm and tight. And then when I go down to the A, my jaw sticks out just a little bit. I get low. All right, watch again. that works then since I took just those two notes because that's where I knew that I was struggling I took just those two notes and worked on just those two okay line 48 on 18a this one should be a little bit more fun it goes up in the range some so that's gonna be good instead of going down nice switch there we go one two three <laughs> easier. Now be careful on that one because it didn't have any E flats so be careful when you practice that to make sure you're not playing E flat. Okay that's all I've got for this video. I hope you have a good day. Good luck practicing horns. See you later.